Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And I don't want you guys to be upset or concerned about the title of this video. Uh, this is more of just me kind of um, thinking about what may have changed from last year's launch to this year's launch. And when I actually looked into it, I did change quite a lot of things. And I just wanted to talk about it with you guys and I'm not upset. Um, I was a little concerned when it first happened and you kind of get in your head of what did I do wrong? Are people not wanting my candles anymore? Are they not wanting to purchase from me? But when I really thought about it, I thought, okay, there were a few things that I did differently from last year that could have contributed to the decrease in sales this year. And I thought it would be interesting just to share it with you guys. And just so you guys know, I will not be going into exact numbers. I'm just gonna be speaking in overall percentages in this video. And that's not because I'm trying to hide anything from you guys. You guys know I like to share everything. I just don't wanna talk numbers and have some of you guys feel like I am either being ungrateful for the sales that I got or you're comparing yourself to the sales that you got and you're thinking, oh my God, you got that many sales and you're upset about it. Again, I'm not upset about it. It's more of just, taking an introspective look on the situation and from a business perspective, looking at it and seeing what can I do differently for my winter collection that I didn't do for the fall collection and hopefully get those sales that I was anticipating in the first place. So just speaking in overall percentages, I would say that I got around 30 to 40% of the sales that I got last year from the fall collection. So the differences was about 30 to 40% of those sales. Again, not bad. It's just when I'm looking at it from that lens and I'm seeing, okay, well, what did I do that time that I didn't do this time? So I wrote down some notes on what I think had happened and I wanna share that with you guys right now. So the first thing is that um, um, if you guys are not following me on Instagram or if you didn't see my last Make Candles With Me video, I did share how there were some things that came up, mainly a, um, I didn't get my fragrance oils in time and uh, it kind of made my anxiety kind of increase and I decided to push out my launch date after I had already announced it. So I announced my launch date to be September 22nd and I ended up pushing it out to September 27th. So I do think that that does have something to do with the decrease in sales. Um, I don't know if maybe people were just like, okay, well, you know, if you're not gonna have your fall scents out, then I'm gonna go over to, you know, Bath and Body Works or somebody else's candle business and purchase from them because they already have their scents out. And that also brings me into another um, thing that I wrote down is that I think that I just released way too late. So I think that I should have released earlier. I know some people released at the beginning of September and I think that is the perfect time to release um, your fall scents, to be completely honest. Um, in my head, I'm in California, closer to like a desert area, so it can get really, really hot where I am. So September was still like 100 degrees. And in my head, I'm thinking, nobody's, nobody's gonna want fall scents right now, but I forget that as soon as September hits, people are just like, pumpkin spice lattes, everything, and all of a sudden it's fall, even if it's still 100 out. So I should have taken that into consideration and launched a lot earlier than I did. Another thing that I wrote down that changed from last year is that I decided to only launch with four scents instead of six scents. So last year I did launch with six individual scents. I had little sample packs that people could purchase um, to then purchase a full size. So I think that not having a sample of the scents to purchase to see which one you like the best and then go from there and purchase a larger amount, I do think that that may have contributed to it. I think that when we are selling scents online, a lot of times people don't wanna take a risk to get a full you know, $25, $30 plus candle and may not like it uh, versus purchasing a small sample set and then actually seeing the scents and being able to tell if they are going to like it and then purchase larger sizes from there. So I think that that contributed to it. And I think that not having a larger variety, even adding two more scents on, I do think that that 
was a contributing factor. And I think that me in my head, I was just more of thinking, you know, what is going to be the easiest for me to uh, make during this, you know, collection release? What is going to be easiest for me to still have my nostalgic sense, my classic collection that I have of all of my regular scents that I have all throughout the years and not be overwhelmed with too many scents for this time of year. But I think that because there's so many different businesses that have so many different scents that you can choose from. When you only have four scents and people are just like, okay, well, I don't really want any of those. And you're just kind of thinking, okay, well, you know, I this is all I have. And um, I think that last year I had a better variety of scents than I did this year. I did keep two of, pretty much two of the same scents in um, last year's collection to this year's collection, but I still think that I definitely should have had more sense, and that's actually why um, I am planning to bring out some more scents um, within probably the next week. I'm just gonna make some. Um, I ordered some scents that I had last year that did really well, and I have actually had people ask me, you know, you don't have Cranberry Harvest, you don't have Nightwalk, and it kind of brought to my head of like, okay, well, if these are scents, if people are waiting, if they if they tried my scents last year and they are excited to be able to get those scents because, because uh, fall or holiday releases are kind of like a limited edition candle. If you only have it that time of year, then, then they get excited to try it, to get it again the next year. And when I throw everything off and I don't have the same scents, I think that that can kind of, you know, uh, throw some people off or make people, you know, kind of like, oh, I love that one from last year and now I can't get it from you. So I had a few people make comments about like, oh, you don't have this scent this year. So that kind of got me thinking of, dang it, I should have just kept the same scents. But I'm telling you guys right now because I'm hoping that this will kind of help you guys out moving forward. And it helps me out to kind of do a little investigative work and just be like, okay, what did I not do or what did I do differently? And those are definitely things that I did differently. But I think that the main thing that changed um, that I, for some reason, I really wanted to make my labels look differently. So I will pop up photos right here so you guys can see the difference of my labels and the names that I chose versus the names that I chose last year. And of course my label style just looks different anyways. I don't think it has something to do with that. But I have always, my brand has always been known for having very unique creative names for the titles of the candles. So by making it chai plus pumpkin or citrus plus tobacco, I personally love the way that it looks, but I think that it kind of threw a different vibe for my brand. And I, I again, I don't know if this caused people to, to purchase less or, or what have you, um, but for some reason in my head, I was thinking like maybe this is a part of the reason because it's not on brand with Memory Box Candle Co. And funny enough, I've always thought that my unique names have been more of a detriment for sales than a positive. I've always thought if only I named my candles just lavender or vanilla or something simple so people see it and they know what it is versus Saturday morning cartoons, vinyasa flow, trips to nowhere. A lot of times people, you can't look at that and know what it is. But I have to really go back to my roots of how and why I started my brand and the purpose behind it, which is memories and having me connected to it in one way or another. So that is, kind of my speculation over the whole thing. Um, and in terms of the winter collection, I'm definitely wanting to launch uh, as soon as possible. I'm hoping November 1st, just to get out there. You know, we're past, uh, right after Halloween, we're right into getting into the winter months. And I think that having your launch right before it actually becomes the new season um, is going to be the best thing because people are constantly trying to move on to the next season as we see in grocery stores all the time. Um, but I am definitely wanting to have the same sense that I had last year for the winter collection. Um, and I think that what I want to do is not stress myself out so much for having all of my nostalgia collection in stock 
and my fall scents and my winter scents. I know that a lot of times people are wanting to have to purchase holiday scents for Christmas presents and all that kind of stuff. And I think I just wanna focus on my best sellers for the Nostalgia Collection and then really just focus on the fall and winter scents because people love to have that variety of scents. So I think that I am going to have the same scents as last year, but if I do wanna add on one or two more scents, I'll add it on top of those scents and not just instead or taking away. So they, these are just my thoughts. Um, this is just me rambling about what I think had happened. Um, and I hope it helped you guys out to see kind of my thought process. And if you're going through something similar or if you're starting your business and if this helps you out at all to think about it more of those limited edition scents for that season to make sure that you bring it back for the next season and add on maybe one or two more scents on top of that so people could try those out. Um, I think that that's probably the best way to do it because when I think about it like that, it makes a whole lot more sense to me. Um, so these are just my thoughts. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at MemoryBoxCandleCo and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.